Messaging extension search commands allow your users to search external systems and insert the results of that search into a message in the form of a card. Now, in this section, we're going to learn how to execute a messaging extension search command from an existing message. We're going to specifically look at search commands and then how to create them. Search commands allow your users to search an external system for information, either manually through a search box or by pasting a link to a monitor domain in the composed message area and then insert the results of the search into the message. In the most basic search command flow, the initial invoke message will include the search string the user submitted. You'll respond with a list of cards and card previews. The Microsoft Teams client will render the card previews in a list for the end user to select from. And when the user selects a card, the full size card will be inserted into the composed message area. Now search actions can be triggered from the compose message area or the command box. And unlike action commands, they can't be triggered from a message. To register a search command messaging extension, add it to the compose extensions array in the Microsoft Teams at manifest, as you see here. The type property specifies that this is a query command or otherwise known as search. The context property, it defines the, where the messaging extension can be invoked. And the parameters property defines the input fields displayed in the search experience when the user, when the messaging experience is invoked. If you include the property initial run and set it to true, your web service will receive the invoke message as soon as the search command is invoked. Otherwise, it'll only receive a message when the search is executed. This property defaults to false. Now, when your search action is invoked, the bot framework will send an activity object to your web service of type compose extension query with the command ID that you need to respond to with an object containing a compose extension object within five seconds of receiving the request. The method handle teams messaging extension query is called by the bot framework SDK when a message of type compose extensions query is received. The type property can be one of a couple different options. It can be set to result, which is going to display a list of the search results. It can be set to message, which displays a plain text message. It can be set to auth, which will prompt the user to authenticate. And then it can also be set to config, which will prompt the user to set up the messaging extension. The attachment layout property can be either a list of results containing the thumbnails, titles, and text fields, or a grid of thumbnail images. The attachments property is used when the type is set to result and contains an array of supported cards. If the type is set to message, an additional property of text can be used to set the plain text message that should be displayed. But when it's set to auth or config, you're going to use the suggested actions property to suggest additional actions for the user to do.